Hello everyone, this is Khalil from NCS Training. I'm gonna show you in this demo here how you can use the payment registration for customer payment. So if you use the search box in Business Central, Dynamics 365 Business Central, I'm using the search box and I'm typing here payments. Registration. It's very quick and easy way. Notice here that there is setup for this. If you want to go through the setup, but I already performed the setup and I'm going to the payment registration as a task here. So what it will show me here is uh, uh, all the customer ledger entries that they are open for all the customers that they they are waiting for payment we are waiting for payment for for this customer so for example this is a customer here and this is the invoice that is still open and this is the due date and this is the remaining amount now if the payment is made for this customer all that i need to do it's just an easy way in order not to use the cash receipt journal. All that I need to do, to do is mark this as payment made and then post the payment. That's it. So, for example, I received this payment from this customer and you see here, this is the amount. So all I need to do is just click on payment made and then post the payment. That's it. Now, sometimes there is uh more than one invoice is being paid by the customer for example this is a customer literature inc i received the payment for the total of these two invoices in lump sum payment so all i need to do is mark them as payment made and then post as lump payment that's it so this is uh, an easy way to do payments instead of going uh, through the cash receipt journal and applying the invoices for the customer and making the payment from the cash receipt journal we can simply use the payment registration to do this payment for any customer and just so that you know also that this will handle already the discount for the customers so if a customer for example paid uh, during the discount time this will handle the discount and you can change also the, the the date received also you see here like you can change the date received if you want to change the date received to be before certain date or after certain date so after you mark this all you need to do is just post the payment or if you have a lump sum payment lump payment post it as lump payment that's it for today. Thank you very much and see you soon. Thanks. Bye.